So today, guys, I'm showing you how to become a cop in GTA 5 online. And the final product does look like that. You get special powers with it, too, online. But, yeah, this does not require any mods or anything like that. I just want to give credit to Officey for finding this. And, yeah, other than that, let's get straight into the video. So, first, it does have one requirement, and that is you'll need a new account. This cannot be on an account that already has characters created. You'll have to have a brand new, fresh account. So if you're on PlayStation, if you create a new account and you already have an account with PlayStation Plus, if you just log into the new account that you just created, it should also have online for free. But yeah, guys, that is the only requirement. So what we need to do, first step, is to load into story mode and finish the first few missions until it puts you as Franklin in his safe house. So this is just the end of the repo mission right here. And this is the point that we want to get to. So once we get here, uh, next step is to find a peyote plant for a bird. And I'll put that down in the link in the description for the locations. I'll show you one location right here right now. But all birds work for this, any bird but the hen or the chicken. We do not want that bird. So any bird but that is fine. So the peyote plant I'm going to be going for is on the left side of the map right here next to this barber shop. I'll show it again. Um, it's very close to the ferris wheel towards the beach. It's just right next to the barber shop right there. And if you have a helicopter, that'd be nice just if you can spawn in a buzzard. Um, it's on a rooftop. I'll show you when you get there. It'll become much more clear if you just follow what I do. So I'm right on top of the barber shop, and to the right you can see this building right here with this rooftop and walkable area. So we're just gonna get landed here and then just get out of the helicopter. We'll be in that this area right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and eat it, and then you will spawn in as a bird and. Remember, if you do get the hen, you don't want that. You're just going to go ahead and go to another peyote plant until you get another bird. So what you do when you get the bird is you're going to want to end the hallucination. And then once you end the hallucination, it should just spawn you back as Franklin. And you'll under unlock the director mode actor for the bird, which is what we need. So we're going to load into online, so we're going to do is we're going to press pause, online, play GTA online, and then go. And then you will get, after you click OK, you will get a bunch of alerts if you're a brand new account. Just click OK for all of them, just select the box, and just click OK. And then it'll take you to the character selection screen. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to start editing this character, and then just, you don't need to edit anything, so we're just going to click save and continue, and then it'll create the character. And you're going to want to hit, when the time comes, you're going to hit skip the GTA Online tutorial. So just click yes here, this part is important, so just make sure to click yes. So once you do spawn in, you're just going to press the pause button, go to online, and then swap character. Okay, so it'll take you to this character selection screen right here, and we're just going to go under a character that we just created, and then we're going to delete it. Just click square to delete, yes, and then we're just going to go ahead and delete the character. And then once the character is deleted, you're gonna make sure you want to press circle to return to Grand Theft Auto 5. So it'll pop up right here. Just press circle and return to Grand Theft Auto 5. So once you're back into GTA 5 story mode, once you load in, 
You're just gonna open up the interaction menu by holding the touchpad and then going into director mode. So just hover, just click launch director mode and then click yes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to actors, and then animals, and then the bird that we just got. So any bird but the hen. So for me, I've had the pigeon, so I just select the pigeon. And then this next part of the glitch, I'd say, is the hardest part of the glitch. So, what we need to do is find a highway where there are a lot of trucks or a lot of cars. So right here, this is a good spot on the map that I'm showing you guys right here. So just put a waypoint there. And if you put a waypoint there, you'll be able to teleport there. So it's just right up here. So you open up the interaction menu, go to location. If you tap left on the D-pad once, and then X, it'll teleport you there to your waypoint. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the bird and head over to the freeway. And this is the hardest part of the glitch. And this will most likely take you guys multiple attempts. And don't give up because this is very hard to do. And it takes a lot of timing. And what we basically need to do here though, is we need to open up the interaction menu and hover over quit director mode while the bird is gliding like this. And we're just going to smack it into a car. Right before you smack it into a car, you have to quit director mode. And as you guys can see there, I did mess up. But what would happen if you did do it correctly is the wasted uh, screen would pop up, which it does for me the second time. But basically my tip for this is just trucks are much easier to hit. But I, I unfortunately, I didn't have any trucks, but um, trucks are much easier to hit and then always aim really low and towards the tires that always helps so right here I'm hovering over quit and I'm gliding down and right before I smack into a car I'm just gonna click quit right here and just also yeah, exit director mode and then if I did do it correctly I did do it correctly and there you go bird should die and then the screen should pop up as wasted so it should load into a black screen and what we're going to do here is you can hold the touchpad to bring up the interaction menu you can actually hear the sound and you're going to scroll up once on the d-pad and then click x and then once you click x it should tell you are you sure you want to launch director mode and I'm just going to click X again. And once you do that, it should load you into director mode. Into the director mode trailer. Now we're just going to click on actors. And then for the LSPD officer, we're going to want to go over to emergency services. And then we're going to scroll down over to the LSPD officer. I'm just gonna click circle and then circle again and then exit to story mode. I also want to mention if you guys change the character appearance by clicking square, it changes the styles. Um, that's not gonna save when you're going into online, but I'll show you a way to change the style when you're online later on in the video. So just do what I do and just don't waste your time by just clicking square and changing the appearance. I'll show you later how to do that. But what you're gonna do now is you're gonna open up your phone. And then go to quick save and then create new save and you're just going to save this so once you save that you're just going to click the pause menu and then you want to scroll over to the online tab and then you'll see you play gta online and then head over to an invite only session and then click ok So right here, it has a possibility of loading you into the GTA Online tutorial. So I mean, we don't want that. I'm going to show you how to get out of it. And the way we do that is when you exit Wilmar's car, you're going to want to quickly press pause online and then swap character. I'll show you guys me doing that. But also don't be alarmed if the cutscene starts and you just see yourself as a blue, as a guy with a blue shirt. That's just how it looks, and then I'll switch over to the cop. Stare at the back of my shit in, cause you gonna eat my dust, punk. <laughs> so once you get here, you're just going to, Say -say. as soon as you can, 
open up the pause menu. You're just gonna open up the pause menu, scroll over to online, and then scroll down to swap character. And just try to do this quick before your character enters the job screen. But yeah, once you do that, you should be taken back to the character screen. And then what you're gonna do is just create a new character again. Just click edit character, make it as ugly as possible, and then save and continue. And okay, the very important part here, make sure you hit skip the GT online tutorial. So click X for yes. And that should put you in a session. So once you load into the session, what you're gonna wanna do is just run around for a bit, maybe like a few seconds, and then open up the interaction menu, scroll down or scroll up twice, and then activate the option to kill yourself. And once you respawn, we're just gonna open up the pause menu again and then we're go, gonna go back to online. And we're just gonna go to swap character. And then we're gonna be taken back to the character selection screen again. Once you get back here, we're just gonna go ahead and press square to delete this character. And then delete it. And once our character is deleted, we're gonna do what we did earlier and just press circle and return to Grand Theft Auto V. And now once we're back here, we're just going to press the pause button again. And then I'm going to scroll over to game, load game, and unload the save that we had from earlier, which we written down, which is at 1746. But I only have one, so it's alright. So now, this is another hard part of the glitch. So what you're going to do is, once you spawn in, you'll realize that you spawn in as an LSPD officer. But what happens is normally it disappears. So what you have to do is you have to press the PlayStation button as soon as you spawn in. So it freezes the game. It just stops, so it's time to load in. So this is what it looked like in PS4, and the other one below is PS5. But as soon as it, you put the menu down, you have to click the pause button. And then depending on how fast you click the PlayStation button, you might have to time it right and press the pause button. Sometimes you may have to press it twice, or sometimes even three times to time it correctly. But if you do that, it should pause, and then you'll be able to see the police officer icon in the top right, and you can join a session. And once you join, you'll be joined as this guy. And you want to join an invite-only session at first, because I'm going to show you how to change your character model. Okay, so right here, guys, this is really important. Make sure you guys do not miss this part, because... Whenever you're loading in after closing your application, you always have to load into story mode. Do not click online. Whenever you're loading in, once you load into story mode, that save will pop up. So every time you want to play as the cop, you would have to have you would have to do that process that I just showed you. You'd have to press the PS button and then pause and then go to online. That is the only way that you can do this. If you have multiple saves, just click go to game, load game, and you can load up the save. So another thing you need to understand is that you would spawn in as this model every single time unless you do what I'm about to show you right now. So I'm going to show you how to change the model. So what you're going to want to do is open up your interaction menu, go to Secure Serve, start an organization. And once you do that, you can go ahead and change the style by holding down the interaction menu, going to Management, Style, and then switch one over to the right to Drug Baron. And once you have that, you can go ahead and press the pause button, go to online, go to jobs, play job, Rockstar created, go to missions, and then start up last play bad companies. So settings or anything like that doesn't matter. Just go ahead and start up the job and launch it on your own. And then we're going to do immediately right after we launch it too is we're just going to quit the job so i'll show you me doing that and if you didn't know how to quit a job you just pull up your phone and then the middle orange button just click on that and then click square and then are you sure just click x so once you spawn back in wait for a few seconds until you see on the bottom left you see the map until you see that you turn into a CEO color on the map so 
wait, there we go. We just or we just wait until you see you lose your accessories. But yeah, once you see that you're a CEO color in the map or you lost your accessories, you're gonna go ahead and press pause online and then scroll down to find new session and then invite only session. And now you'll notice that your NPC model has changed. And it's random, each person gets a different one. So if you just wanted a new NPC model, if you don't like this one, you can just go ahead, go to online, start the job up again, quit, and then find a new session, and then you'll be a different model. But basically, this is not saved yet. So if we want to save it, and every single time you wanted to log on, if you logged on, you wanted to be this guy, this model, we can do that. I do want to mention that if you keep switching models, you cannot find the models of the police vest. But uh, there is a way to get it. I can upload that in a different video. But yeah, for now, I'll show you how to save this model so that every single time you log, you get them. So when you do is just go to online, go to jobs, and just start up the same job as we did last time. And then we're going to go back in and uh, you're just gonna start. Okay, so now once we're in the job, this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to a gun store and then we're gonna save this. So I, you might think that you can save multiple outfits at a time, but that's just not how it works for NPC models. You can only save one at a time. So yeah, but we're just gonna go over to the gun store and then we can save this in our first slot. Just keep this in the first slot. So once you have saved this guy in your first slot, you're just gonna back out and then go out of the gun store. And then we're gonna do the same thing as before. Pull out your phone and just gonna go ahead and quit the job. But yeah, now, this guy should be saved every single time that you'd log on, you'd be this NPC model. So let me show you here, guys, that I'm just going to go back, and then I did close the application, I'm logging back in, and I am no longer the short-sleeved guy with the hat and sunglasses. And I just loaded back as this guy. So, yep. Let me just show you some stuff that, and some features that this guy has. He has a few special powers. So that includes that he will not get shot at by other cops. You can still get a want to bubble, so you can actually call for backup just by shooting. And even if you shoot at other cops, they will not shoot back at you. So I'll show you guys here. And there are a few things like the noose will still shoot at you, the noose or the SWAT team will still shoot at you. So that includes the guy out of the helicopters, you'll see that eventually. And on the map too, you will be identified as a police officer, you can see that on the map you turn into red and blue. And then, so you can see, I'm going to shoot this cop right here, and his buddy doesn't even care, they just ignore you. And this can get a little bit buggy if you're too close to another GTA Online player. That happens a few times, but it's still not too bad. And on the map too, you actually get your own search cone as well. And if somebody shoots at you, another GTA Online player, they will get a wanted level and they have to end up killing you, it will be a 3 star wanted level. I've gotten some pretty funny reactions from this as well. And it's just overall just a really fun, great glitch to do. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and upload more in the future.